Sa mga kanakayit niyo, to have, have like a full-fledged role opposite you. The fact that they have a mentor, like you know, I have learned so many things from Salman Bhai and I'm still learning. Every day it's an experience with him where we learn so many things. I'm happy that they have somebody like Salman Bhai in their lives where they can also look up to and they can also learn things. Salim Sahib was very, very confident of the film. People gave the responses, the critic gave responses. The fact that he was happy uh, that he liked my work and he thought that I gave him 100% meant a lot to me. Salman Sahib bonding with Ayat. I think it's always special, you know, uh, to see uh, both uh, Ahil and Ayat with Salman Bhai. Uh, uh, they, you know, they, uh, we all look up to him. And now when they come here, this is the first time Ayat is seeing a live show. She has not really seen a live show before. What next? What, uh, what, what after Hunting Ice? <laughs> Sir, I'm, uh, I'm just reading some stuff. I'm just uh, locking things down. Uh, for me, I'm very confused what to do after Hunting Ice. <laughs> It's wonderful to have Ayush with us here at uh, Dubai Expo 2020 for the Dabang Reloaded uh, concert here in Dubai. Uh, Ayush, welcome uh, back once again on Borrowing Ama. Tell me one thing, uh, how much has your confidence level, level risen with the way Antim has got some music the way it has for you? I think so, it's just uh, more than confidence, I think uh, it's more of, uh, uh, you know, you feel happy with uh, people liking your work. And somewhere down the line, that confidence reflects that you feel like doing even better, putting that much more effort. And uh, for me, it's almost like after Antim, like next time I need to even try to achieve even more things, uh, be better as an artist and perform even, uh, uh, you know, for the people who like my character. They like my next film and my next work as well. You know, so when the, when the, when the reviews started pouring in, one thing that I noticed was that even certain hard-nosed critics and all that, they had, they, they were really appreciative of your work. And for anyone who has been in, the, in, in this industry for, for some time, they will understand ke, where that element of praise is coming naturally and organically. And I think that's that's always that's always wonderful. Okay, so uh, how hard have you worked to to get? There? So for me, um, you know, it, it is a trickle down effect. For me, first thing that when you know we have a film like this, you only I just wanted to prove myself. First thing was that you know I felt I need to work on myself. I need to make that effort for myself because. Uh, somewhere down the line, I didn't want to come back out, uh, you know, come out of Antim and say, wish I'd worked harder or I'd put in more effort. Um, I'm very grateful for all the love uh, people have given and then more importantly, when the critics have come and they have praised my work, it really means a lot to me. But uh, I think it all, uh, you know, it's all about the, uh, you know, just being in the, in the groove of it. All right. And uh, what next? What, uh, what, what after Antim as well? <laughs> Sir, I'm, uh, I'm just reading some stuff. I'm just uh, locking things down. Uh, for me, I'm very confused what to do after Antim because, you know, somewhere down the line, there are certain people who want uh, me to come back into action and do something with action. And somewhere down the line, for, personally, for me, I also want to experiment myself. I want to go out there and try something new. So I want to make a big back, you know, do something what people have liked and do something what I want to, you know, what grows me as an actor. Okay, now, uh, now Samar Khan has been there in the, in the business for a really long time. For, for him uh, to put that, that faith in you, uh, to have, have like a full-fledged role opposite you. Yeah. You know, so he understands that uh, when he's fully confident of something, then only he'll do it. Yeah. Um, does that also just raise the confidence levels that, that he believes in it? Because I still remember at my book studio before the film release, uh, he, he spoke to, uh, yeah. to a few of us off camera and he was very confident of Salim Sahib was very very confident of the film. वो वो कितना उससे आपका एक एक belief system में आपके मतलब एक बढ़ोतरी होती है? I think so. Is also, uh, what what matters is that somebody with that kind of experience like Salman Bhai, Salim Sahib, I'm I'm an amateur. You know, somewhere down the line, I don't really know what what would work, what would not work. Uh, my first effort was that people uh, who have trusted me, who have given me this opportunity, they should be first. They should be content that they have put. Uh, their belief in the right person. For me, having the family to support me, to give me a kind of trust that, you know, such a big film is being mounted and I am the one who's going to be this character, meant a lot. Uh, so when somebody like Salman Bhai gives you credibility and he gives you an opportunity and then you deliver and he's happy with it, it means a lot. You know, uh, it, somewhere down the line you feel satiated. You know, even before uh, people gave their responses, the critic gave responses, the fact that he was happy 
uh, that he liked my work and he said, thought that I gave him 100% mental out to me. Okay, so since yesterday we have just seen uh, Salman sir bonding with Ayer. Yeah. Even now she has yeah. come and uh, he has come and he's, he's completely bowled over with her. Um, how do, you, how do you respond to the sort of bonding that the two of them they, they tend to have? I think it's always spe special, you know, uh, to see uh, both uh, Ahil and Ayat uh, they have, uh, they, you know, they have, uh, we all look up to him. And now when they come here, this is the first time Ayat is seeing a live show. She has not really seen a live show before. So for her, it's all, everything is new. And uh, the stage, the fact that we're performing is always new for her. For me, um, the fact that they have a mentor, like, you know, I have learned so many things from Salman Bhai and I'm still learning. Every day, it's an experience with him where we learn so many things. I'm happy that they have somebody like Salman Bhai in their lives where they can also look up to and they can also learn things. All right, uh, tell us tell us about the experience of, of, of doing live shows. It, 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 it has its own... I'm sure that you must be like, you know, very nervous right now because you'll be going on stage in some time. Yeah. How's that experience to just face the audience? I think, uh, you know, every time people say that, you know, keep doing live shows and slowly the jitters go away. Mm. I don't think so. Mm. Uh, every time you're performing, every time you're going on stage, you have to, you're just nervous. You're like, um, I hope my performance is good. I hope people like it and I hope I don't forget my steps. So for me, uh, uh, it's almost like my, uh, you know, you get the nerves every time, but uh, it's fun. Uh, when the crowd is energetic, they're responsive, it's fun. You feel like performing even more, you like to put in more effort. Uh, so I, I personally like uh, these live shows. All right, and uh, how, was your, how was your experience of being a part of a show like, like Riyadh? Yeah. 40,000 people. <laughs> yeah. And have you, have you ever imagined something? Have you ever imagined something on that side? Oh, well, you know, for me, my, I think my first thing was that when I went, on, uh, when I went live on Riyadh, uh, when pe the, uh, the people were cheering so much, that somewhere down the line, I was, I was not properly able to hear the music. I'm like, you know, there's so much of reactions and I didn't know. And it was so special because, you know, uh, when you were doing a step and people were clapping and uh, saying the name, it just motivates you to perform. So I think Riyadh was an experience that I never had before. And something very special, you know, the, first of all, it was a first show in Riyadh. Uh, to go to Saudi and perform there meant something to me. I was like, you know, and, and if, if it wasn't for uh, the bunk show, I don't think so, I would have got the opportunity to go there. So, I uh, had a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to more Dhawang shows where we can repeat the same thing. And this is your second show in Dubai? Yeah, yeah. Tell us, final thoughts. Well, uh, Dubai has always been a very special place to perform. Uh, we keep coming to Dubai, uh, you know, uh, there are a, uh, a lot of friends and family over here. And uh, every time you're performing, they're here and they're cheering and they're looking forward to it. So, I can't wait for everybody to UAE to enjoy the Dhawang Thank you very much and all the best wishes. Thank you, Zohar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.